What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah with a brand new Let's Play of Bravely Default demo version. For those of you guys who do not know, the demo of this game is available on the eShop right now. It'll take you about five minutes to download, so go and check it out. But before you do so, watch this Let's Play to determine whether or not you are interested in the game. Now, I've played the demo before and it's really, really awesome. There's a lot to it. It's really deep. And it's not just like those regular demos that give you like five minutes of the game and then cuts you off and say, hey, go purchase the game. This demo, there's, it's hours. You can, you can spend hours playing this demo. And at the same time, you can use some of the save data in this demo and transfer it over to the new game if you decide to purchase it. So without, uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump into the game. Uh, like I said, I've played a little bit of it before, so I know the basics of battle mechanics, um, skills, attributes, jobs, abilities, all that stuff. I'm familiar with it, so I'll be more inclined to teach you guys as we go along. Um, yeah, the game's great. So let's jump into this. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rallying up those likes. So if you guys didn't already, hit that like button. If this video gets a certain amount of likes, and I'll let you know by the end of the, the uh, video, if it gets a certain amount of likes, I'll allow you guys to make me get the game and play it. <laughs> the game comes out February 7th, and that's really not that far away. It's about 20-something days away. But if we hit that certain amount of likes, I will get the game and I'll let's play it. So all the more reason to hit that like button. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so you've got three difficulties here. Easy for beginners, normal for, um, I guess, regular people, and then uh, hard for those hardcore people. So let's go on normal. Auto save is great, uh, and we will create the data just like that. All right, here we go. So you have the ability to auto scroll through the text or skip the cutscenes altogether, which is always a good thing. All right, so here are four party members. Agnes, it is I, the Wind Vestal. Agnes, oblige. What is the matter, Prime Minister? Ah, Lady Vestal, welcome back to our fair city. Sorry to call you away from your duties like this. Not at all. I was in the area already. Tell me what this is all about. Well, there is something I need you and your friends to help us with, Lady Vestal. Things must be bad if you're calling on us for help. Quite bad, I'm afraid. You are all aware of the Narende village, I trust. Yes, I grew up there. You don't say, a native of Narende village? Fate does work in mysterious ways. Well, this should require little explanation then. As you know, rebuilding of the village has just begun. Answering the call of the king called Disla, <laughs> we had planned to contribute uh, to the restoration effort ourselves. Was there some kind of problem? Yes, ever since the great chasm opened, the creatures skulking around these parts have grown restless. Well then, good luck to you all. The townspeople will tell you more when you see them. Our soldiers are kept busy dealing with these unruly beasts and guarding the city. I realize that you all have your own business to attend to, but might you be able to lend us some support, Lady Vestal? Understood. Of course we will. What? But Agnes! Don't you, don't you want to think about it first? It's your home, Tease. That concerns all of us now, right? Exactly, and I'm sure Ringabell agrees. You're all too kind. Time for you to put your title of Chairman of the Restoration Effort to work, Tease. Yeah. Oh, you're in charge of Norende's Restoration Effort. Then you'll be able to issue instructions to the village people gathered for the restoration, even while traveling in distant lands. Our people are helping gather resources in the little spare time they have, but progress is slow. Once the restoration makes progress, you're sure to reap the rewards of your noble actions. I'll do my best to live up to the honor the king bestowed on me. Okay, so restoration of the uh, Narende village. Okay, so you can peek at the Narende village uh, by hitting the control pad or the touch icon to the left bottom of the screen to open up the map menu, then pick the fourth icon down to visit Narende village. Grow the population. With every street pass, the village gains a new resident. A task... Uh, that takes one worker an hour, only takes two workers 30 minutes. Got 10 residents, you're done in 6 minutes flat. 
All right, so press on the control pad to open it up, and strangers that you street pass will be registered as guests. Guests can be summoned like friends, so get out there, get street pass, and get those guests. Now, any kind of game that has an active street pass ability is A plus in my book, because that's literally what the 3DS does that no one else, no other system does. It's street pass. It's awesome. Anyway, Narendi Village looks like this. Um, this is your character. Um, once your character is um, leveled up, you pretty much send him to other people, which is pretty cool. If you go to Narende Village here, um, you pretty much rebuild it by issuing orders to all the people that you street pass. Um, over here, if you take a look, you've got a weapon shop that takes about two hours to make, which is cool. And it's got some very awesome weapons there. You've got an armor shop, which takes about an hour to make. Over here, there's a boulder in the way that takes ten hours to make. Uh, over here is a potion shop, and you've got Tangled Woods, takes two hours, and an accessory shop for two hours. So, with that being said, if you have the save data and you street pass someone, you're going to start issuing the orders to start unlocking these things off screen, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, pretty much moving across the screen, you got a map on the bottom, which is cool. Alright, wielding a weapon in each hand... Uh, will increase the number of attacks you unleash, but each attack will be weaker. Equipping a less powerful party member with dual weapons may even reduce the total damage they inflict. I'll go over the uh, the menu and battling and all that stuff in, in a little bit. Let's actually head over to this area. Alright, about this demo, taking on quests. For this demo version, the townspeople give you quests to solve. The full version is different. Speak with the people marked in blue on the map to take on side quests. Alright, you can transfer the following data from the demo version over the full version. Friends, not including guests, Narendi Village residents up to 20, and play bonuses. Play bonuses, depending on how much of this demo version you complete, you can earn a variety of items for when you start the full version. There are seven play bonuses altogether. If you get them all, you'll gain a big head start in the early part of the full game. Data not carried over. The stories in this demo version are not found in the full game, so you can't transfer your experience, job experience, or items over to it. Enjoy these additional scenes, then you can develop the characters how you want through the main story in the full game. Alright, so now we already have a play bonus that we can pass over. It's just simple items like antidote, eye drops, echo herbs. I'll show you what all that stuff is a little bit later. Um, so, now... When you press the menu button, these are your four party members. Tease, Agnes, Ringabel, and Edia. Um, they are all default as freelancers. Now, if you take a look, you can change their jobs. Now, this is a lot like Fire Emblem Awakening, where um, you change a specific class or job, and you learn abilities from it. Uh, for example, the freelancer has a specialty ability called Late Bloomer, um, which says that maximum HP, magic points, physical attack, magic attack, physical defense, and magic defense each rise 1% with every job mastered. So that's cool. Um, his ability that he has is examine. An ability is something that you can use in battle to, uh, I guess, help you out. Examine is pretty much finding who the enemies are and what their HP is and what their weakness is. So that's a very good ability to do right at the beginning. Um, you can also change into a knight which has a specialty of protecting an ally. If an ally uh, has less than 20% of HP left, takes a single target attack, you'll take the attack instead, which is good. Ironclad ability. Start the beginning of a turn to raise your physical defense to maximum level for an entire turn, which sounds kind of cool. Uh, black mage. So with the black mage, the uh, white mage, and the red mage, you can actually use magic. So for those of you guys who played Final Fantasy, um, you guys are familiar with the whole concept of black, white, and red mages. Black mages specialize in all the dark magic. White mage specialize in the healing magics. And red mage does a little bit of both. Uh, so black mage, you've got black resonance. Um, so let's see, black magic... Uh, damage rises with each ally, including yourself. So if you have more black mages on your team, you're going to do a lot more damage, which is cool. So 10%, 15%, 20% more. And then you'll be having the ability to use magic if you are that class. You can use black magic level 1. White mage, um, same concept, but the specialty is recover from any kind of status effect at the end of the battle, and you can use white magic. Now this one over here, red mage, um, has a 25% chance of increasing, uh, what is this, BP? I think that's um, battle points. 
Yeah, that's like your magic points. Uh, when when taking damage. So poison doesn't trigger that ability. That's fine. And then what's awesome about the red mage is that you can use black black magic and white magic. Uh, ninja's pretty cool. Um, you can actually dual wield. Um, previously, we talked to that guy who said that you can actually take a weapon in each hand, but each of them are going to be weaker. Normally, they only do 50% of the weapon's physical attack, but now it does 100%. So that's awesome. And then uh, Utsusemi is his ability, which evades a physical attack one time. Now, the singer over here, uh, let's see, save singing MP. Lower the cost of singing by 50% and love power, the ability. So singing's pretty cool uh, because if you use love power, um, you raise everyone's physical attack by 25% for four turns. That's awesome. So if you're, a, if you're a performer, then you can pretty much use that ability and only use 15 magic points for it. Valkyrie's cool. Uh, physical attack and magic attack each raised by 25% for 5 turns each time an ally is knocked out. And then this ability called jump is very good too because you could jump out of the screen and then on the next turn you, uh, you deal 2 times as much damage and if you're holding a spear then it's 3 times as much. Uh, so it's kind of like the move fly in Pokemon or Sky Attack, or something like that. Or Dig. Yeah, it's like Dig. And then there's Swordmaster, uh, where you get Counter. has a 60% chance to counter attack when uh, taking a single target physical attack. Alright, and then Nothing Ventured is an ability where you have the damage uh, if you sustain a hit, but then you counter attack with twice as much, which is kind of cool. So with that being said, uh, when I was playing through the demo, I left Tease, the main character, as a freelancer, I went and changed Agnes to a dark mage, or a black mage, simply because you want to have a, a balance. You want to have a balance on your uh, on your team of different abilities. So Freelancer is kind of like an all-round. Uh, Ring-a-bell, I made him a ninja, because the ninja with the dual-wielding ability is really strong. And it doesn't cost any magic to use. And I Idea, uh, I made her a white mage. See, you would think that if you're a white mage, you only have access to um, white magic. But if you guys actually go to ability, you can actually get one other ability from any of the classes and add it to your stuff. So right now, um, my fixed command, since I'm a freelancer, is miscellany and late bloomer. Um, so that means that I can use the miscellany uh, command examine anytime I want. Now, with that being said... I can also choose any one of these guys uh, to um, add to my job command. So I'm going to use black and white magic. This is a red uh, mage ability. So I can actually use magic and use my uh, fixed specialty, which is cool. So same thing with Agnes. Um, she's got black magic. I'm going to give her the ability to use white magic, which is cool. Uh, with ring bell he's got a ninja ability, but I like the jump ability which is acrobatics. The jump ability, have him like fly out and then on the next turn do triple damage. And he's already equipped with a spear by default, so that's really awesome. And then um, Idea, I'm going to give her black magic. So she's got a mixture of white and black magic. So she's pretty much all set. Um, one of the other things that you want to look at is uh, the equips. You have your right hand, you have your left hand, you have head armor, you've got um, body armor, and you have a spot for an accessory. Now, she's holding this awesome little sword, this thing over here, but since I'm going to be using her as magic and not really attacking, I'm going to take that sword off, I'm going to give it to ring -a -Bell so that he holds on to two items, because his ability is dual wield, uh, if you guys remember that. Um, now with dual wield, let me see if it shows it. Yeah, dual wield. Mitigate the reduction attack power when a weapon is equipped in each hand. So right off the bat, if you just take that sword and give it to him, he's going to be like a force to be reckoned with right off the bat. Um, other than that, you equip. Um, I showed you magic. I don't have any magic available because you're going to need to purchase magic scrolls in order to do so. And then you got your items. Um, potion recovers 150 HP. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we start off the game with 500 gold, which is pretty awesome. And then right over here, if you talk to this lady, you're going to start on your first side quest. Oh, Lady Vestal, you've come at the perfect time. There's something I'd like to ask you. Will you hear me out? All right, so here's the beast liver hunt. 
I'm thinking of sending some energy brew to the people of Norende Village, but I'm missing one of the ingredients. Beast liver. If you come across any, can you pass them on to me? I only need five. All right. So you can get beast livers by defeating panthers and white cates. Um, you should come across plenty of them just roaming in the desert. All right. So deliver five beast livers, and I'll get 400 gold, which is going to be awesome. So let's accept that quest. Alright, how to change jobs. Okay, let's see. Now, we already talked about mix and matching and jobs. We've already explained that to you guys. So, now over here is the area where we can purchase scrolls. Now, in order to use any magic, you got to purchase these, which is kind of... Uh, you don't have a lot of money at the beginning of the game. So, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need fire, which is a dark magic. So, now everyone can use fire. We're going to need some white magic, which is cure... Uh, Poisana, which is, uh, it cures you if you have the poison element. And then Blinda, uh, we don't really need Blinda. But let's actually go to, uh, let's buy Blizzard. And let's save a hundred bucks for the other shops. You don't need Blinda just yet. Alright, who's this lady? Just between you and me, I hear that some dungeons have secret passages. They say it looks like a normal wall, but when you walk up to it, you can go straight through. That sounds like the sort of place you want to hide treasure. Why don't you go check it out? And that's cool. So finding dungeons in there. What do you say? Hello there. I hope the village restoration is going well. Did you know you can attract more villagers using Street Pass? Yeah, we knew that. All right, right over here is the weapon shop or the armor shop. You can buy more weapons and everything like that. Um, I want to actually buy some pointy hats. If you look at the bottom screen, pointy hats, um, it's pretty much something that you can buy for really cheap and improve magic attack which is awesome so let's do pointy hat we'll buy two of them one for agnes and one for idea and then we got 60 bucks left we can buy something yeah let's buy a buckler which raises defense all right so i'll buy a buckler for tease and that is pretty much all of our money right here we need to go actually destroy some guys and get some more money Anyway, and my, uh, my right hand, or my left hand, I'm going to use as buckler. So my defense goes way up. Literally doubles, which is good. All right, and we bought a pointy hat for these two guys. There we go. Magic attack goes up by a little bit. And we're going to give you a pointy hat as well. Cool. All right, so we are set. Oh, wow, that magic. Yeah, holy cow. Now that we're a black mage, we got uh, a lot more magic points, as you can see. All right, well, let's get to battling. I know uh, that... Hold on, this is the po potion shop? Yeah, you can buy some things. Um, I don't really need anything right now. Because I don't have any money. What's this guy? Uh, excited by your first real journey? Good. There's no point if it stops being fun. All right, time to save. All right. So now that we saved, uh, we're going to head out to the desert and see if we can find some of those beast livers. All right, let's see. I don't need that. All right, let's go do it. Wow, that's like 20 minutes of explaining the game to you. Let's get some action going. All right, before battle, brave and default. Okay, so here are the battle mechanics. A new take on a classic combat. Default to store up power, then brave to unleash it on your foes. By declining to act during a turn, you can store up BP, which allows you to carry over that action to a later turn. Default also lessens damage taken that turn. Use the turns you've banked, or take five future turns in advance to perform multiple actions in a single turn. Use it when the time is right to drop the hammer on tough foes. Brave points. There we go. BP. Uh, taking an advance on future turns will drive your BP negative. You'll recover one per turn, and you can't act until you reach zero. It's high-risk, high-reward proposition. Use it wisely. Saving the game. Okay, we know how to do that. So I'll, ex I'll show you guys what the, uh, the BP is all about. So let's see if we can get into a random encounter. And we'll see what we can do. All right, just walking around. This is very Final Fantasy-esque, hence made by Square Enix. For those of you guys who played the Square games... I know I've played all, like mostly all the Final Fantasies, so I'm really at home with this game. All right, here we go. Oh my, 74. That's like half my health. What are you doing? Okay, so you, there's a lot of things you could do. You could do a straight-up attack with your equipped weapon. You can use any of your abilities. Like right here, I'm going to um, I'm going to use Brave. 
And that allows me to get two turns, but as you can see, I'm at negative two, so I've got to wait another two turns in order to attack. Kind of like what it was saying before. If you press the L button, you can go up to four turns. So I'm going to go two turns, and I'm going to use my first ability, which is Miscellany Examine. I'm going to examine what these guys are, what their weakness is, and what, um, how much HP they have. So I'm going to use the first one on the Venomous Snake, and I'll use the second one on the Panther. And then now that moves on to the next character. Uh, the next character over here, Agnes, um, what I like to do is I like to go all out on these guys because I don't want to take any damage, and at the same time, I've got access to Black Magic Fire. I could use it on the Panther. Uh, I could do it again on the Panther. You know what? I could just go all out on the Panther. Four magic attacks on him. All right, now ring -a bell. I like to go all out on him as well because he's got the dual wield ability, and at the same time, he's got... Um, pretty high attack stat, so I'm going to go all out on the Venomous Snake. Now, Edea, you can pretty much do anything with her. Um, I kind of, like, reserve her for healing, so let's do a little bit of both. Let's do uh, White Magic, we'll cure uh, ring a bell because he got owned right at the beginning, and let's use some Black Magic of Fire against, I don't know, Panther. Okay, so those are all our attacks. We're ready to go. Press A and let it rip. All right, there we go. Nice. See, he gets two hits, and he's getting these crits, too. That's amazing. He's like a freaking ninja. Look at that. Oh, my God. ring -a bell just killed everyone. Wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. So, we get bonus experience if we get a one-turn victory, as you can see that. I'll explain the bottom screen over here. Um, the left column is pretty much your experience. So, if I get 15 experience, then I'll level up. Um, on the other, the right column, is how much experience you get to level up your class. Um, I need 30 of those JPs, the job points, in order to level up the class and learn more. So once we press A, bam, there we go. We got one piece sliver, we got a little bit of job experience, and we are there. So as you can see, you at any point in time, you can use anyone's magic and heal up. Kind of like any kind of RPG. Um, I'm going to use white magic... Hold on. Teases white magic on ring -a bell so that he can, you know, be at full health. So we got one beast liver. Let's, uh, let's continue running around in circles to see if we can get more. And while we do that, we level up as well. Alright, so here we go. Who's here? Allies get first strike. That's awesome. Hey, another, uh, another dude. Okay, so we can just go all out. Venomous snake. Yeah, I'm gonna attack the venomous snake. Let's go all out abilities. We'll go black magic fire on the panther. Oh, actually, I didn't. I didn't even get a chance to uh, analyze them last turn. Let's uh, let's do that. Abilities. We'll go all out here. We'll go miscellany. Examine the venomous snake. We'll examine the panther, and then we'll attack the rest. All right, so we'll go all out for fire magic on the panther. Okay, and then ring a bell. Oh my god, he's so strong. And you can... I don't think you're going to even need to do anything, so let's just default. And default is like defend almost. Alright, I don't think I'm even going to get a chance to get these guys uh, information, but... Count me in. Oh my god! You know what? Forget it. <laughs> it's too good. Wow. So we get an, a, a, uh, an additional uh, bonus in job points because we didn't get damaged, and at the same time we get a little bit more experience because we beat it all in the first turn. All right, so we got to level up. Level up. We all leveled up a little bit. And we got another beast sliver. That's great. So that's two beast slivers. All right. Come on. We need, like, three more beast slivers. Let's do this. Now... There's a lot you can do. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of Fire Emblem Awakening so much. Like, seriously. Because you earn experience, and then you level up your class. I mean, you could essentially level up all the classes if you had time to grind. Alright, I have no idea what this thing is. So, let's, uh, let's examine this imp. And then we'll attack it. Um, also, with black magic, what you can do is you could aim for a weaker 
attack, but hit all the foes at the same time, which is kind of cool in case you know that one of them is, like, dead. Um, all right, let's see. I'm just going to attack these dudes, and then we'll default with you. All right, here we go. 33, 29. Look, oh, miss. What? 55. Oh, th these guys are weak. Rainbow is just going to own them. Wow. Okay. Okay, got two demon tails. I've never received a demon tail before. That's interesting. Let's see what that is. Uh, if we go to item, new, we got demon tail. Okay, a thick tail covered in hair can be used in compounding. Okay, I don't really know where you can compound, but that's cool. And as you see, like, the time passes as well. If you look on the map, there's three points. Um, there's one in the very south. There's one all the way up in the northeast, and there's one all the way to the west. Those are different dungeons that you can go through, and these dungeons are, are pretty intense. All right, so let's just uh, destroy these guys. Um, abilities, we'll just burn. I mean, it really doesn't matter, because you know what? Ring of Bell is just going to own them all anyway. All right, there we go. Ring of Bell's freaking ninja with his sword and his spear. And his crits. Oh my gosh. So good. Alright, there we go. Leveling up a little bit. Perfect. Alright, we're getting a lot of demon tails. That's not what we need. We just need freaking... The, uh, the beast livers. But, I mean, this strategy is pretty awesome. Using ring -a bell with the dual wielding ability. Turning him into a ninja. You know what, I could probably turn T's into a ninja and take, um... Whoa, what is that? Fear. Silence. Oh, wow. I don't really know what the fear ability, or the fear, um... Attack does. Like, if you're afraid, I don't know what that does. Like, you can't attack? It's called Dread. That's interesting. I mean, it's not like I'm using her anyway, because Ring of just going to own everything. Okay, and then, yeah, I can't Brave or Default. I guess I'll just attack then. Get this thing out of here, these imps. Yeah, he's out of here. Okay, I wonder if uh, that Dread status goes away after, like, a turn. I hope it does. And we can always check the status of all our party members by hitting that X button and checking it out. Yeah, it goes away, which is good. Alright, I'm not finding any of the, uh, the beast livers at all. What the heck? Beast livers! Oh, maybe it's because it was nighttime and none of those beasts came out? There we go. Oh, oh, there's a beast right there. Get him! Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go for the Venomous Snake. Let's go Fire on the Panther. Okay, and let's use Fire on the Panther for both the ladies. If Ring Bell gives them an opportunity. Oh my god! Such a good strategy at the beginning of the game. Wow. Almost like broken. Okay, got that Beast Liver. Alright, come on, keep going. We need more beast livers. Let's go spin around in circles. Will that make it go quicker? Battle! Let the battle begin! But see, on a good note, by killing all these guys, you're getting a lot more gold. Let's see how much gold we got. Uh, 235 gold. That's not bad. Now, with that, I can buy stronger weapons. I can buy more accessories to defend against. And, yeah, probably buy more spells, too. All right, let's kill this Venomous Snake. And I like how it remembers what you did in the previous turn. Uh, no, we're going to use Black Magic. Oh, fire on the Panther, just in case. I don't even know why I'm saying just in case. Ring of Bell is freaking owning everyone. There you go. Get him. Give me that Beast Liver. Awesome, awesome. Okay, got one. All I need is one more. Alright, please don't turn dark. I need one more. Ah, it's dusk. 
Hurry! I've been battling for days. I need one more beast liver. Yes! Ooh, and there's a Kate! Alright, so now these Kates are pretty annoying. These white Kates, because they use um, silence. And when you get the silence ability on your guys, then they can't use any of their magic attacks. And that's not fun. Especially if they go faster. Alright, so hopefully we can get two beast livers. Knock these Kates out. Bam! There we go. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. I should really turn T's into a freaking ninja. Okay. Leveling up. Nice. Okay, I got two beast livers from that. So let's go. I think we've got enough beast livers that we can go back into town, deliver them to the lady, finish off the side quest, and then we'll finish off this episode. It's been quite a long one. All right, here we go. No, you're not the lady. And we do have a lot of money, so we can spend that money and uh, get some good stuff. All right, here we go. I've got your beast livers. Oh, you're the lady, right? This is the middle of the desert. Um, wait, what? So the lady's not there because it's nighttime? Oh, maybe I've got to... Um, let's see. We can go to the inn. Maybe that'll make it daytime. Alright, so the inn is right over here. It costs, what, 10 gold a night? Might as well. And plus, we're at, like, medium health there. We need some, uh, we need some recovery. Let's sleep in until the morning. Yeah, there we go. That's cool that all the NPCs, the non-playable characters, uh, they change when it's night and day. So here we go. Ah, Lady Vessel, you've gathered up everything I asked for. Thank you so much. Now I can whip up my batch of special energy brew. There we go. I got 400 gold for doing it. Awesome, now what happens? Now I can whip up... Okay, great. So that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can uh, find somewhere to save. Um, yeah, where do you save? Oh, you can save out in the um, out in the open if you're in the desert. Or I think this guy saves? No, 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 this guy doesn't save. That's awesome. So we got a lot of money. Now we can spend that money and buy a whole bunch of other things. So I'm going to save that for the next episode, guys. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, here. You open that up, then you click on save. All right, so let's save right here. We're going to continue, and that will be it. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Um, is this an RPG that you'd want to see me Let's Play fully? Um, is this something that you want to download as well or possibly purchase a little bit later on. I'm very curious as to what you guys think of it. And if you guys have any strategies or hints or good combinations, let me know in the comment section. I would always love to read those. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in playing or seeing more of this because I'm going to continue on with the demo to see as far as we can get in it. Uh, and then we'll go from there. It'll be fun. So like usual, in the comments or in the description, I'll let you guys know what our like goal is. Um, on if you guys uh, want me to let's play this. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more at Default, and I will talk to you on the next episode. See ya!